Hi. Hello. It's been a minute. So I decided I would sit down and basically just film my makeup routine that I've been doing for a really long time now. It's kind of my go-to look. And I get asked about it a lot on Instagram. That's usually where I'm posting now. And I thought I would just film it because I figured, why not? I have some extra time today. It's been, I think, a year since I filmed. It's been a while. It's been a minute. So if you want to know how I just do my everyday looks, what products I've been using lately, what I've been loving, then definitely watch this video. Again, subscribe, like this video if you liked it. Um, you never know, I might be doing more videos. You never know. So if you want to see how I do my everyday makeup routine, then keep watching. Okay, I'm just gonna start with my skincare routine, and I like to start off with my eye cream. And the one that I've been using for a while now is from It Cosmetics. It's the Confidence in an Eye Cream. Um, you know, I like the texture of it. It's not too heavy. You can use it day or night. And I just like to use this under the eyes. I just pat it in, you know, with my finger and just blend it out. Next, I'm going in with a moisturizer or sometimes I just use a serum. The serum that I have been using but I switched up because I actually ran out is the Too Faced Hangover um, Good In Bed. It's an ultra replenishing hydrating serum and I really like the texture of this. It's really lightweight. Um, it doesn't feel heavy or greasy. Um, so I've been loving this, but since I ran out, I actually switched to this IT Cosmetics. Um, this is Confidence in a Gel Lotion. It's oil-free for all skin types. And again, I just use the tiniest pump for this, um, and a little goes a long way. I feel like if I use too much on my face, my you know, foundation usually doesn't last as long, or it just kind of gets too heavy or cakey. So I feel like with my skin, I've learned less is more, or when it comes to textures, use something that's, you know, lightweight and, you know, just doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. So I have been liking this. Okay, now I'm just going into primers, and I have used so many primers over the years, and I actually found one that I really, really enjoy. And this is from NYX. So this is the Bear With Me. It's the Hydrating Jelly Primer. This is probably my second or third third jar that I've gone through and actually this one there's hardly anything in here I'm actually due for a new one um, but I just really love the texture it does look kind of like a jelly and I literally have to scrape the bottom because there's literally nothing left and um, it's just kind of a cool texture again it's lightweight it doesn't feel heavy on the skin it almost leaves kind of this like tackiness to your skin um, which I like tackiness in a good way because I feel like it's going to make my foundation really like grip to this primer and just last so much longer. And like I said, it's just like a really lightweight primer and it feels good and it's inexpensive. So, you know, win-win. Okay, next foundation. So normally if I'm doing like a heavy eye makeup look, I would obviously do my eyes first and then my complexion, but because I know my eyes are gonna be pretty light and minimal, I'm just gonna go straight into my foundation. The one that I've been using for years now is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. It's the Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. I used this for you know a while when it came out and then I stopped and I don't even know why I stopped because this foundation is just, literally my favorite foundation out there. I just feel like it's the only one that will last all day and I don't feel like I have to touch up at all. And I just like to pat this on with my finger all over the face. To blend my foundation out, I just take a beauty blender and I actually like to spray it with this uh, Bear With Me. This is a primer, setter, and refreshing spray. So it's kind of like a multifunctional um, spray. And I just like to spray, you know, the sponge a little bit. And then I'm just going to press this into my skin just to smooth everything out. Okay, 
Okay, next I'm moving on to concealing. So I don't need a whole lot of foundation, but there are areas on my face where I do need more coverage just from like monthly breakouts. You know, I have dark circles under my eyes. Um, I scar really easily when I break out, so I do have a lot of darker spots. I do have some freckles on my nose and under my eyes. That I don't really care about because they're kind of cute and trendy right now, so I kind of let them show. Um, so the conceal that I'm using is from NYX. I just like to put this underneath my eye area and then on any of those areas where I have, you know, discoloration, dark spots, scars, you know, where I need a little bit more coverage. So under my nose a little bit, I have some scars and then on my cheeks, I have some scars. So I just kind of go over it. Then I'm going to go back in with my sponge, my beauty blender and just kind of pat this out. Now I'm going to set everything, kind of bake those areas. So I've been using this setting powder forever and I just love it because it's not super heavy. This is the HD finishing powder from NYX and it is going to be like a banana powder. And I just have the travel size one because I ran out of my big one. Um, but I'm just using a smaller fluffy brush and I'm literally just going to, you know, pat this underneath the eye area. I am using quite a bit of product just so I can bake and let this concealer kind of set so it lasts all day. I also like to use this powder where I usually get oily later on in the day. So that's gonna be my T-zone, right in between my brows, my chin, and then kind of like around my nose. Now I'm taking the NYX HD primer and I'm just going to use this as a base and put it directly on my lids. I'm also gonna put a little bit under my lower lashes because I will be applying some shadow there. And then I just go ahead and blend it out with my finger. I like to go back into the banana powder from NYX and sweep this across my lid and this is just going to act as a base for my shadow. Now I'm taking this off-white matte eyeshadow from Morphe and I'm just sweeping this across my crease as a base and transition color. I've been loving this new palette from Too Faced. It's a great go-to neutral palette and I like to take this matte shadow and I'm just sweeping this in my crease and from the outer corner kind of up to my brow and then I'm just blending out with a blending eyeshadow brush and I'm using the same color across my lid and I'm sweeping this under my lower lashes. I'll blend it out and I'm literally just using two shadows for my eyes. It's kind of like a very soft blown out neutral eye. Now I'm going in with my favorite mascara. I've been using this Colossal Big Shot mascara from Maybelline for years and it just does magical things to my lashes. Now I'm just popping on my go-to lashes from Coco Lashes and these are in the style Venus and that's basically all I do for my eye look. Alright, let's finish the complexion. This is a powder foundation from Benefit. I use the color number 5 and you can use this as a setting powder or a foundation. I feel like it gives me pretty light coverage and I like the undertone of it so I just use it as a setting powder. So Benefit sent me the Hoola Caramel Bronzer and ever since I've been using it, I just totally fell in love. I feel like it's the perfect golden shade for my complexion and I've been using it ever since. I just like to apply this bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks, around my forehead and on my temples and I swear bronzer just makes everything better. This is some random bronzer I got from a BoxyCharm and this is from Pretty Vulgar and I just like to pop this in the hollows of my cheeks and this acts as just like a contour powder for me. So I'm not a huge blush person, um, but I do like to use, you know, a light bronzer for my cheeks just to add a little bit more of like a bronzy glow. And I have been using this duo from Jouer. I forget the name of this duo, but I know the color is medium to deep. And I just swear by this. I'm going to have to get a new one soon because I've hit pan. But this thing has lasted me a really long time and it's just a very light bronzer and I just kind of sweep it on my cheeks it blends out my contour it blends out my bronzer and um, it just kind of gives like a soft satin kind of bronzy glow to my cheeks and another thing I like to do is brush this over my nose I feel like it kind of gives you that I've just been in the Sun I'm on vacation I got a little color um, and I don't know, I don't like my nose, so I feel like it kind of just hides it a little bit, tones it down, um, so I just like it. It's optional. The next Precision Brow Pencil in the color Ash Brown is my jam. I've been using this for years, you guys know I love it, and this is my go-to. 
Next I'm going in with the Benefit Gimme Brow and I like this to kind of make my brows look a little bit more fluffy and defined. And you can obviously tell the difference from one brow to another. So this next trick is optional and I've been doing it for a while and I just like how it kind of completes the look that I'm going for. I don't like to look like I'm super made up, but I like to look that like my skin looks good. So on my nose, under my eyes, I do have some freckles and also some really dark spots. So I don't know if they're considered beauty marks or if freckles are beauty marks. I don't know, but I have um, some light ones here. I have really dark ones on my nose. A lot of them stand out, the darker ones stand out, but the lighter ones don't. I like freckles, I think they're cute. I'm kind of embracing them. I feel like every year I get more and more. Um, so to kind of even everything out so it doesn't look kind of random, I do add you know, faux freckles. And the way I do it, I actually use a brow gel. And this one is from LA Girl. This is the color taupe. Sometimes I use blonde depending on how dark I want them. Um, and I kind of like it when the formula is kind of dried out because it goes on lighter, um, it's not as intense. So I like it when my brow gels kind of dry out. And I just like to use like an angled liner brush. This one has gone through it. It's kind of, um, it doesn't have like a fine tip. It's kind of frayed, which is what I like because it makes the dots kind of different and random shapes. So I lightly just pat it into this brow gel. Sometimes I'll just pat the excess on the back of my hand. And then I'll literally just kind of press this into my skin. So I usually do like on the sides of my nose, I'll do under my eyes, and I'm literally just kind of doing random spots, different pressure, cause the harder it is, the darker they will be, the lighter the pressure, the more faint they will be. And I just kind of do them really random all over my nose. Sometimes I'll do it in between my brows. And then, you know, some areas that are a little too dark, I just like to take my finger and just press this in so it kind of fades them a little bit, blends them in so they look more natural. And I don't know, I just like how they look. I think they're cute. And it kind of just makes my foundation not look so heavy because it looks like you have like your natural skin kind of showing through. And I also like how it lays on top of that bronzer that I put on my nose. I just feel like it kind of ties everything together. And again, just go back and blend out those areas. And then you got yourself some faux freckles or you can add to the freckles that you already have, which is what I like to do. Moving on to highlighter, I like to put this on top of the faux freckles because I feel like it blends better instead of doing my highlight and then the faux freckles. Um, so I'm just gonna take this one from Ofra. This is Rodeo Drive. It's literally the best highlighter I have ever used and it's my go-to and I haven't found anything that is better than this highlight. So I just take a small brush and I just put it on the highest points of my cheeks. For an all over glow, I also like to apply this on my nose and also like my temples, my cupid's bow, and you just get that all over glow. This is stripped down lip pencil from MAC. It's literally the best color ever and I use it for all my nude looks. I've been trying out this matte lipstick from Morphe. I love the color of it. It's a little dry, but that's what you get when you go for matte lipsticks. So I just applied this melted lipstick from Too Faced just to add a little bit more hydration. All right, you guys, so that's it. What do you think? This is literally my everyday routine that I do when I need something quick. I just need a staple look, and I feel like this look goes with everything. It's kind of that fresh faced, effortless, no makeup, but using lots of makeup look like you put yourself together kind of look that I go for. Um, so again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you've been sticking around this whole time waiting for me to make a freaking video, thank you so much for your patience. And you never know when I'll be making another one. I'm just gonna keep you guys guessing. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching and maybe I'll see you soon.